For Wall Street Media, I'm Tyler, this is Doug, and we're here today with Martin Mann. And uh, in the turbulent market, we uh, we always want to talk to somebody that we know and respect, and so we brought... Uh, this is my friend, Marty, Dr. Martin Mann. Hey, Thanks Doug, very much for joining us. Um, guys, super turbulent market, right? It's going crazy out there. And I thought, let's get one of the smartest people that I know in here. I thought you guys might like to hear uh, Dr. Mann is going to sit and talk with us about the market and tell you how his uh, what his investing style is and we'll talk a little bit about that beautiful um let's start to tell us a little bit about your business and your your philosophy in running the business okay Tyler I run a successful dental practice in downtown Manhattan sandwiched between uh, City Hall and the financial sector in Chinatown um, we've been in practice since 1988 um, and that's how I met him. You know, you're, you're down by Wall Street, mm -hmm. um, and you have like the coolest high tech stuff, right? Um, he has he has gadgets, and the whole office is networked. You know, um, and you have you have the one. Um, we're gadget guys. You know, the, the people that watch, they know. You have that one machine that's like an X-ray, but it, it shows the image right up on the screen immediately. Oh wow! Right, we we have digital sensors for our x-rays. Um, it functions like a CCD or a CMOS and a yeah. camera. And uh, same technology, but in the dental field, um, x-rays, um, a, a great tool for the patient, um, low radiation for the patient. <laughs> I know, I know. That's, that's what they told me the last that's time. Helpful. <laughs> yeah, it's neat stuff, right? Because um, we had uh, done one of the companies at a Rodman's conference in Monaco, uh -huh. and they were saying in like 10 years, they think like one out of 50 uh, cancer cases are going to be from so many of uh, the CAT scans and CT scans and x-rays. Right, that you people know? are doing. Yeah, and Marty was doctor. telling me that uh, the, the, this one that you use is more CCD CMOS than it is actually x-ray. And uh -huh. it doesn't put out, give as many x-rays, I guess. The radiation source is x-ray, but the sensors are so sensitive that... Um, the radiation is reduced tremendously. Yeah, important, um, right? I find that's not a significant um, data to me mm -hmm. in terms of um, dental x-rays. Mm -hmm. There's other technology out there that can add more radiation, such as um, uh, CT cone beam uh, scanning, mm -hmm. uh, cone beam technology in the dental field, which is on the horizon, in the distant horizon, um, but in in fact, I think that will also lower radiation. Yeah, good. That's neat, man. I like when I'm in your place. You've got everything's networked. There's LCDs and screens everywhere. Um, what? Uh, are, are there any specific investing opportunities in in that area? Are do you like? Are you investing in companies in that area, or you you're in funds right now? Um, I am. I am a general dentist. My livelihood is staring at teeth. Joey, <laughs> Billy, and, and, and Billy. <laughs> okay. So my eight-hour day, my nine-hour day is, is relegated to looking at the tooth, and I really have to buy and hold. Right. And I cannot look at the ticker. Right. So and um, I cannot make a real-time decision. Mm -hmm. um, so I trust... Um, my investment advisors, I trust... Um, Who do you use? We... I do my homework. Mm -hmm. And my fund families are, are top rated. Mm -hmm. And I rely on ETFs. I rely on, on my sense of the market. I rely on um, uh, good no-low fund groups. Right, that's and, what... Uh, and, uh, and group... Just good newsletters and even just reading the local paper gives you a sense of the um, the daily sentiment. What ETFs are you in now? Um, ETFs that I like um, track countries, track e emerging markets, or mm -hmm. track indices that I think have a trend. Um, uh, a trend that possibly came up last month was tracking uh, mid-cap 400s. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at that. Um, but um, some long-term trends that prevailed in this market um, is the um, the EAFE mm -hmm. um, and and your standard your, your S and P 500. That's always the benchmark. Um, how are your investments performing against the S and P 500? Right. Do you, do you hold spiders? Uh, spiders, I look at, but I currently I don't hold spiders. 
I like um, individual country funds and I like um, uh, ETFs that track the emerging markets. And, and what countries are you in right now? Um, there has been a sell-off in May in certain countries, namely the Far East. Um, Europe is not hot right now. Um, there's one very interesting um, um, ETF um, called uh, EEB um, made by um, Claymore Brick. Okay. Um, they invest in Russia, India, and China. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the acronym. Right, um, Brazil, very Russia, India, China. Yeah. Yeah. Brazil, Russia, India, China. Right. Um, I like mutual funds that track some of these countries. Mm -hmm. um, they've done well for me. Uh, Do you have any funds in particular? Um, all the large players, mm -hmm. um, Fidelity, Vanguard, T. Rowe Price. Um, they have emerging market funds that track these countries. Um, there is another ETF that uh, is on my radio, mm -hmm. um, TRAMX, okay. um, T. Rowe Price Fund, that is um, tracking Africa and the Middle East. Okay. Um, the, the, here we've, I've got it up here, Jeremy. It looks like a uh, year to date they're up 9%, right? Not <laughs> That's pretty good, right? Although China's having some difficulties, right? The Chinese um, market, I think, is down like 46%, right? China may be in a holding pattern for the Olympics, just yeah. as we are in a holding pattern for the elections. Yeah, I know. Um, so there's quite a bit of uncertainty about what will happen after the Olympics. I uh, See, I, I'm in uh, Focus Media, FMCN, mm -hmm. right now, right? And they have like the big digital... Uh, billboard network throughout China, right? Mm -hmm. And I've been in and out of EDU, uh, which is like the online uh, uh, education company, and right. also C-Trip, which is supposed to be a travel agency for uh, like middle class, right? And I, I thought all of these things should be doing really well, but I just think like China's getting killed, and I think it's the same as you say, like with the election here. It, it, it has everything on steady, and it's probably going to be that way until it gets settled in November. Uh -huh. And I think you're exactly right that that's what's happening in China. You know, uh, now when you look at these, uh, you go into these, and you hold, you're you're planning on holding them for quite some time. These funds and ETFs, or do you jump in and out of them? I, again, in in my workplace, <laughs> uh, I'm looking at the tooth. <laughs> I'm, lo I'm staring at the tooth. He has uh, my philosophy. Right, right Tyler there. does too. Buy and hold. I, I, you know what? German Mike, every once in a while, will sell something. Um, if I hold something 60, 90 seconds, it starts to get stale for me. <laughs> <laughs> German Mike will hold. Uh, Tyler, I don't think you've ever sold I don't, anything. I, I don't think I have either. <laughs> you know, and it sounds like you and Marty <laughs> are kind of birds of a feather. Exactly, you know? right. Um, and, and, you know, and, and I guess... <clears throat> You just find stuff that you like, and then you just hold on to it, right? Mm -hmm. And watch it. Um, I think you still have to do your homework, and you have to be aware of the market sentiment mm -hmm. long term. Um, the indices sort of give you an indication, um, but you, how closely do you want to watch the indices on a daily basis, a weekly basis? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And how, how long will these trends hold out over time? Right. Now, you, you think that uh, China will pick back up again then after the Olympics? I have to look at my holdings in that area very carefully. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about maybe moving out of them? Um, with these individual countries, um, market cap on their um, individual companies are tricky. Mm -hmm. um, unless you really know the area. Um, really know the companies firsthand. Um, the fund families really have to provide you with with excellent um, support. Right, and and, okay. and you a trusted a manager trust, that you trusted like. Trusted support. Mm -hmm. I, I just bought a fund this week, uh, a Needham fund, uh, D E E. What was it, German? D E G X, I think it was. Um, and it was because I liked the manager so much. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, N E A. GX or an EEGX, right? 
Um, and I, it's an aggressive one, and he's earned 16% a year for since inception, like 15 years. Wow. And he's from Needham. They're a bank that I like. And the interview with this guy, you know, he was a really smart guy. Like you, you know. Guys, golf clap for Marty. Do- for my friend, Dr. Martin Mann. Um, thanks so much for coming in. I thought I thought people would really like to hear what you had to say. And you guys are birds of a feather. You know? I guess so. <laughs> this, is, this is the buy and home crowd here. Um, and I really appreciate you coming in and helping us out. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Marty. Uh, yeah, you. guys, uh, th- that's what my pal was thinking about the market, and he's he's a buy and hold guy. And uh, so you had no, one of us, no, we're here every day. You can find us at wsmco.com. Thank you. Thanks, Doctor Man. Thank you, Doug.